Ballers, can you imagine being gifted this record every year for seven years? Jeez, what a friend. A Reddit user named Dr. Gonzo84 posted a fascinating series of photos which tell a story of holiday giving, holiday ghosting, political intrigue, and sheer frustration. If you dig this video, click like and subscribe. But alright, let's get right to the pics. Here's Dr. Gonzo's original post. So just saw these at the local value village, I got a good laugh. There were three more copies there, also still sealed, but without notes attached, so I didn't take photos of those. I guess that would make up all seven years. He sent this to his friend as a gift slash joke, I'm guessing? I always like to find records with notes or letters included, but this was just too funny slash sad. Alright, let's get to photo number one. This one's pretty straightforward. I'm assuming this was early in the run, maybe the first year. Nothing fancy, a simple holiday message written in marker on the shrink wrap. That's it, man. Not a lot of extra words used here, and it's notable that the recipient never even broke the seal and listened to Cal's record. I don't know, I guess he's not into this kind of music or something. With photo number two, we can see we're a few years in, and already, Cal's losing patience. We've switched to a festive yet aggressive red marker, and Casey gets a jagged underline of emphasis under his name. We get the words once again, reminding Casey this is not the first record he's gotten. And we wrap up with a collegial, your friend. I mean, after all, it is Christmas time, right folks? Now bear in mind these records might be out of order, and there were a few without notes as we know, so a few years of record gifting may have lapsed by now. Now we're into photo number three. We're back to Sharpie on plastic again this year. And frankly, man, I'm not surprised. Cal seems exhausted by this annual exercise. Another year, another record. I think I detect a bit of wry humor here, but I think Cal and I both know it's lost on Casey. And now photo four, this is the penultimate, the final record. We're seven years in. Seven mint sealed copies of Jesus, What a Friend by Cal have been given to Casey, and Cal has had it. Casey, you have no idea how much I am looking forward to working with you again, plus again, plus again, plus ag. We've already voted the same way on one major issue, but this is seven years in a row I've sent you a Xmas gift, and I've yet to receive something from you. When? Love, Cal. Super demanding, man. Yet love. And then it comes into focus. Some information I found online hinted that the artist behind this record might also be a local politician, in addition to being a musical artist and a karaoke DJ. Did Cal bombard Casey with records in an attempt to win his support on some political issue? Write what you think below. And up next, ballers, check out this playlist of dad jokes we did with bands and musicians. There's some really cool stuff here, so, uh, you know, binge me. Binge me.